Hi everyone, it's Microwave Sam. In this video, I'm redoing this one. You might have seen it pop up, but I'm redoing it, fixing the problem that I had before because good videos require exact, correct instructions. So, what this tutorial is going to be, it's the Windows 8 creation on Ubuntu. Ubuntu is a Linux distribution. We're going to create a bootable USB of Windows 8 on this. Now we're going to use a program called WinUSB, but there are specific instructions on how to install WinUSB. First step is to open up a terminal. You might have a terminal icon on the left side. Click on it, or you can search your computer and online resources for terminal. Click on that icon, and a purple window pops up. Now the first command is adding a repository linkage to the application called WinUSB, but it belongs into this higher little... Uh, network, a little linkage package list. So you do sudo apt-add-repository and then you do you add a PPA and the PPA is just the little format but you add something called calling uh, ill slash fresh light. I'll leave this in the description, you press enter type in your password. sudo is the administrator apt add repository is adding this package list the name of the package list is this so you press enter and then it gives you a prompt to press enter to continue you press enter now after that's done you can do a little snippet of line this is necessary on Ubuntu 14.04 so 14.04 is the most recent new version currently out there now this command you need to input for Ubuntu 13.10 and greater. So I'll leave this in the description but just wanted to explain why I'm doing this command. Now you press enter, nothing happens but trust me it's a out, uh, source type of thing where we added this basic list to this um, folder directory called sources.list.d then after that's done, you want to update your package list. So you do that by doing app-get update. So app-get is this customary command used to install or update your package list. And then update, of course, that's self-explanatory. You're updating your package list. So you press enter. It's going to run a little snippet where it has a log of just updating all the package lists. Then it says reading package list dot 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 done. So now you can install the program, which the command name is called app-get install, and then the name of the program is WinUSB. So you press enter on that, it's going to look at your package list, find where it's available, and it's going to set up WinUSB. Normally, you'll have a prompt that says yes or no, y slash n, then you just do y and enter, and then you'll install the program. So now we're going to open up the program, and then uh, use... Win USB to get the bootable USB um, of Windows 8.1. So in this case, I already had Windows 8.1 on my computer because of torrenting. You can always get this file via torrenting, or maybe you already have the download file on some site. You, I'm assuming that you've already downloaded the file because I'm not going to show that step. So now we're going to open up, up Win USB. What you can do is you can go top left, search Win USB, which over here. Windows logo and you can use this program to install Windows 7 or Windows 8 so you search for a disk on my desktop I have a Windows already installed and you can get a Windows 8.1 disk via torrenting or maybe a download site but I'm not going to show that step so once you install or get on your desktop your computer Windows 8.1 8 or 7 any of those two operating systems will work for this program you open it up then from a disk image target device I just plugged in my USB flash drive now it's gonna delete everything on this USB flash drive so make sure that when you look over it you have nothing important on it you backed up all your files and you put them on your computer so then you can just refresh get the target device and then install on that target device now it's gonna say modify essential parts enter your password, do OK, it's going to format the device, everything is going to delete, and it's going to start installing Windows 8 or Windows 7 on your USB flash drive. 
And then afterwards, you'll have a bootable USB flash drive, and then you can boot into Windows with that flash drive. But you created it on the USB um, flash drive. So it's going to do its copying. It opened up for a second. I closed that out. But it's going to do its copying, installation, and you're going to have your Windows USB, USB flash drive. So I'm going to exit out of my screen recording and then come back right to you. It took a long while, but it's finally finished. It took like an hour, so don't expect this installation to finish in three or four minutes. It's going to take a while. So you, once it's finished, it says installation succeeded. Please just wait for it until it finishes. I know you might be like, oh, it's loading too long, but it's going to finish eventually. And then you press OK. You can safely remove this. X out of Win USB. Uh, where's my flash drive? Right here right click on your flash drive and then eject then take actually don't take your flash drive off because we're gonna restart our computer and see if this actually works so keep your flash drive in when you turn on your computer with that USB inside your computer you can press F12 to go to boot options you can maneuver down to USB storage device to boot into that bootable flash drive of Windows 8 that we have and it should work properly so Windows 8 logo pops up everything's working as it should be and you have this Windows 8 bootable disk to either start up to install Windows 8 or actually you can also use the startup repair tools so that is all there is to it to get Win USB and use Win USB to make the bootable flash drive of Windows 8 or Windows 7 on Ubuntu. So thanks for watching one. Hopefully it helped you and see you guys later.